Today is gonna be a little bit different because I will be stepping back from the book content. Don't get me wrong, books will be mentioned in this video. I decided that I'm going to do a presentation style of what my goals are for 2023. So that way at the end of next year, this time next year, I can go back, look at those, see what I accomplished and see what I did not. Let the presentation commence. I've got my laptop here, let's do the thing. So here are all the types of goals. Obviously I have my book goals because who would I be without a book goal? Then I have physical goals, mental goals, spiritual goals, and social media goals. Here are my lovely bookish goals. Not many, really, um, just two big ones. First of all, this year I wanna read 50 books. I only read 45 books this year, which is the most books I've read in a year, in a couple years, but frankly, I want to get up to a point where I can read 100 books in a year. That's what my book goals were back in high school, but life has changed for me, so we're doing 50. The other one is that I plan on doing some themed 24-hour reading challenges, if I can do any at all. Only romance books, or only fantasy, or only thriller, that kind of idea. All right, next we have the mental goals. First, I have a language learning goal. And I found this past year that just setting a goal for how many hours I actually spent time dedicated to the language was a lot more feasible than saying to get like so far on any sort of learning platform. So my goal is just to spend 60 hours on French and Polish. I don't want to specifically allot so many hours to both languages. So I'm just saying 60 overall. So that way, hopefully I'll stay motivated. If I did my math right, that just means about 10 to 15 minutes a day. Next is I want to get my dream job this year. Maybe dream job's a bit of an exaggeration. I really just want a job in what I actually studied in school. I will say that I did interview for quite literally my dream social media job. I have not heard back yet. I really hope that ends up working out. Even if this job opportunity doesn't work out, I feel like the fact that the opportunity even came up gave me the boost of confidence that I needed to search for jobs in the social media world. Next is finding a new therapist. This is probably going to be a number one priority for me, but what's nice is that it's a one and done goal. I just need to find a therapist who fits. It shouldn't be that hard, I hope. So next I have my physical goals. First, I want to be able to do a handstand. I keep finding myself really wanting to do a handstand. I feel like because I've been really getting into yoga a lot recently, there are a lot of yoga poses that I just think look really cool that require the capability of doing handstand. And I cannot, so I just want to do it. Second, splits. I have wanted to be able to do the splits for forever now. Then this third one, I want to spend at least 500 hours outside. I started doing this last year and I didn't really set myself a goal for how much I wanted to be outside. I just tracked how much I was outside. I was actually very surprised about how little I spent outside. When I started paying attention to the numbers, I realized that I started going outside a lot more often. I feel like if I really, really tried, I could make 500 hours and three different active hobbies. I don't know what these are yet. I really want to explore with this and that's why I just had three active hobbies. All of my hobbies that I do now are not active. So I'm gonna try three things. Then next we have our spiritual goals. I decided to keep it pretty simple, but I wanna read the Bible in a year again. I did that this past year and I absolutely loved it. I try not to follow any programs or plans. If one day I can read one chapter and that's it, but then another day I can read five or six at a level where I'm actually comprehending what I'm reading, then that's great. I've been a much more consistent Bible reader when I started doing that instead of following a plan. Next is I want to join some sort of small group or Bible study. I haven't been able to get plugged into any of those, but I really want to be intentional about looking through the different small groups and Bible studies that they have and pick one and join it. Next for my social media goals. Two full seasons of Ruby and Other Gems. I want to finish season one and do a full season two before next year. Kind of a big goal considering I'm very new to podcasting, but also a goal that I'm very excited about. Next, I want to hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I know that sounds like such a big goal, and it really is for me. Right now, I'm just above 400, so to get to 1,000 would be a dream come true. I just growing to love this more and more and I find myself wanting to do this more and more. Why not make the community a little bit bigger? Next, I want to make 365 TikToks. This 
is probably one of the biggest and most intimidating goals of all of my goals. I know that I have the capability to easily make one TikTok a day. I know I do. To actually do it is something else entirely. Even though I've made TikToks before, and every time I do, I'm really glad that I do and I enjoy them and I enjoy making them and I enjoy posting them. But for some reason, I'll just go through spurts of posting TikToks because I get inside my head. So I want to force myself to get out of my head. Next, this one's kind of silly, but I do want to make at least three travel vlogs. I really do enjoy making travel vlogs, and there's so many trips where I planned on making a travel vlog, but then halfway through the trip, I just stop recording and I decide not to, and I just want to push myself to actually follow through on that. And that is all of my goals for 2023. I tried not to make too many. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know if we have any of the same goals because I think that'd be super cool to like have some accountability buddies. Maybe some people think it's cringy, but I've always been one of those people who just gets really fired up around the new year. Something about the new year just, it's like the ultimate refresh restart. And there's just something very Pinterest about that to me. I will not be posting Christmas weekend, but I have a very exciting end of year video. Have a lovely Christmas and a wonderful rest of your year, and I will see you in two weeks.